15. One of the things that I was missing was doing physical stuff. A friend of mine named Eric told me to check out this guy named Daresta on YouTube because it's really cool to watch his videos. And so I checked it out and I got kind of addicted and watched them all. <laughs> It was at a great time in my life too because I was working on trying to find something else to do because I was always making things on the internet. Programming, doing media for people, but finally I had an opportunity to do some more physical stuff. And that's a large part thanks to Jimmy DeResta. Thanks Jimmy and congratulations on the success of hitting a million followers. That's huge! The ice pick started in New York. Jimmy took it to Atlanta. There he gave it to Wooden Creation. Took it to Missouri. Wooden Creation sent it to Bill Lutz. Mr. Lutz sent it to Tim Sway over in Connecticut. Tim sent it back to me in the Sierra Nevadas. The ice pick's already crossed the United States twice. Big thanks to Tim Sway for sending me this thing. And it's going on to another bus conversion artist named Meta Spencer. That's upstate New York, so it's about here, somewhere in the middle. So it's leaving Grass Valley. It's headed there. This thing's crossing the United States more than most people do. A while back, my wife and I bought a school bus. And we're going to turn the school bus into a tiny house. And to do that, we needed to repaint the roof with some white paint that reflected heat so it's like insulated. The bus came with a bunch of these black hooded covers around the lights. I was able to pull those off and paint them perfectly fine. But the rear lights had lost their metal coating. The bus came with a bunch of extra metal that we were able to take off that we don't need anymore. So we have it for scraps. You see, there's just tons of sheet metal in there. So I cut it down and I painted it black. I shaped it, grinded it off and made this metal guy. And now, I want to attach that with the three lights inside of it. One, two, three. But here's the thing. I need to drill the holes perfectly aligned with where they go on the bus. Because I want to keep the main old holes. You see the lights attach into the back of the bus right here. And we painted them while these were out. And so these are all clogged up. And so we can just clean those holes out, easy peasy. about doing a bus is that it's almost never level so you pretty much have to eyeball things and just think make sure things are square but if I spray some white spray paint against it now and the fact that I cleaned out those paint holes it'll be perfect little dots so I can mark and pre-drill holes Somebody glued these together using silicon. So I'm just trying to get it off. of inclusiveness like this is this is not what we're supposed to be doing oh yeah you know in the conversation girls and boys you know mindset of having to work this time and just demand something better i didn't want to leave you hanging there dude there was only one solution i almost went 
Thanks, Wooden Creations, for creating this little uh, game that we're playing here. William Lutz, I like your lizards. Tim Sway, I love your saguaro video specifically. And up next, this pick will be going to Meta Spencer, another guy who's doing a lot of bus conversion stuff. The rest of the ice pick helps me with cops. <laughs> One of the things you can do. <laughs> I was uh, zip tying up these old bus wires and I had no way to reach in here. I couldn't grab the, the zip tie with my finger. So if I use the pick, that made it so that it was easy to zip tie the automotive wires and get them out of the way for while we were building a house. Meta Spencer's working on this prison bus and he's got a lot of very interesting little tales that happen in there. I'm excited to see what he comes up with when he gets to this ice pick and see how he works on it out there. This is a knife I made out of a railroad spike. Uh -oh. You know what we need to do is we need to hit it with a hammer. Kay. Yeah, don't hit it super hard, right? Okay. 